Yo, welcome back to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about Text Linkify, in which we'll look at how links to web page apps can be added to a text view. This can be done either automatically by setting uh, the link property or from the Java code. So we're actually going to be going to Android Studio where I have the sample of this application. What about we're talking about how to link a text from a text view probably to a web page or to a calling application right there in uh, my gradle the build gradle module app session i only have the dependencies which is the compiled android support version 4. no external library used in this particular application so we'll be moving to the layout the sample underscore main xml now i want you to be attentive with the way to use the linky file in your text view we have a scroll view as the parent tag of this particular ui it has an android layout and height of wrap content and the context is calling the main activity a linear layout is right inside the scroll view with the orientation of vertical the layout with tonight of few parents and the pattern bottom is 16 dp so just like calling from the dimension also from the pattern left 128 dp the pattern right 128 dp and the top 16 dp all from the dimension xml we have it the first text view which is wrap content to the height and width of the layout the text is this sample illustrates how links can be added it's actually got it from the string xml which is the intro as the string name we we'll get to look at that now the first implementation text auto linkify automatically linkifies things like urls and phone numbers we assign an id to it called text auto linkify the style is the link text from the style xml now look at this particular line android auto link equals to words all this is going to automatically link the text any link that is right inside this bunch of text will be linked either a, uh, the a tag or phone numbers or email address this is actually going to push it out to its calling application or to its web pages so the text is actually from the string with the link text auto as the name of the string the second implementation is the text HTML resource, which uses a string resource containing explicit anchor tags, which is the A tag to specify links. When I send an ID to record text HTML resource, the layout with an ID match variety and wrap content, we get to integrate this in the Java class. The third one is the text HTML program which builds the text in the Java code using HTML. This has to use HTML. This up one is using the A tag, which is the href. We assign text HTML program to the ID. So I want you to uh, stick to the ID because these are the things we'll be using in the Java classes. The last but not the least is the text spanable builds which builds the text in the Java code without using the HTML. The text program uses HTML while the spanable doesn't use HTML. But send an ID to it called text spanable. Let's move to the main activity of this class. Where I'll be implementing some of these. The main activity extends activity. We set the content view to the layout activity main. Now let's begin the include. The text auto linkify shows the Android property, which automatically link things like URLs and phone numbers found in the text. No Java code is needed to make this work. Just that you need to set the auto link to all, which we've done in the XML. Now let's look at the text HTML resource, which has links specified by putting anchor tags, which is the A tag in the string resource 
By default, these links will appear but not respond to user input to make them active. You need to call the set movement method on the text view object. Now we have an object called text view resource, which calls on the ID text HTML resource. We set the text from the HTML, which is actually from the string, the link text manual. Let's get to look at the string. We have the first name, the string here, which is intro, introductory string. The second one is the link text auto, which actually doesn't need any Java code. Just uh, enable linkify in your XML. The third one is the text manual that we're going to actually use uh, some Java code to trigger the links back to the main activity. Now we from the HTML we call on the link text manual, but look at this method that was uh, added to the text resource object we created, which is the set movement method. This method very important. Without this method, those a tag, those phone numbers, those email addresses won't link at all. So with adding this method. It's going to actually trigger a link on all those a tag we have the text html progress program rather this shows the text with links from html in the java code rather than from a string resource you know so now we're going to build it using the from html which we've done we set the text to the view HTML, which was create object created from the text view. Now we had code some of this uh, stuff. I'm very sure it should still be from the string that we are coded. We have to still set the movement method to make them link with the link movement method by getting the instance of the movement method. So with this, the text HTML program can be linked that's the bracket will be will, will actually be effective the ahref will actually link this particular text to the global mall online web page let's get to look at the spanable whereby we will be constructing a style string containing a link without using html at all now we don't need html can you see the from HTML parenthesis uh, is disappeared. You just create your string by instantiating the spanable string. If you notice, we created an object SS. Now we have manually created span. This is just a string right in there. You set the span of the new style span. That's the typeface, which is either bold, italicized, or normal now look at the url span being passed in which is the telephone number because you can actually pass some some url span you know you have the text view span find by id you set the text based on the ss object passed around so you set the movement method to move between links in this text view. This means that the user tra traverses through links in this text view, automatically handling appropriate scrolling and key commands using the set movement method. Very straightforward and handy. So I will implore you to use uh, the linky file, probably through automatically or from the Java classes. No, you have your options of using any one of those. The manifest is just a simple manifest. No major functionality. We just have the launch activity right there. I'll be showing the screencast of this particular application. And I'll be uploading the source file to my GitHub account. Pick it up and use TextLink file in your About session, in your More session, in the app uh, to tweak more to tell users to get more details probably you have a web page that has been attached to your particular application you can tell users to get more info from that link
So create a Linkify link in your application today. Thank you once more and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful day bye bye